Welcome back to Sonic Heroes! We're getting very close to the end of Team Sonic's part of the game, just two more episodes to go including this one. So, let's get on with the action. The next level is pretty challenging. Probably the second hardest in the game behind Bullet Station. I mean, I don't know. This, this is a tough one. Final Fortress. The final main level of the game. Doesn't matter. Let's take it down. Now you can use a ring dash to get on the top part. Yeah. This is... I'm going to be showing many shortcuts in the level just because I have them memorized on here. If you can take out this robot without falling to the bottom, you'll get a switch. And here you can ring dash again. And a one-up. And try to level up Knuckles here. Now, I'm trying to remember. Now you want to make sure you can land on this. Ah! Ah! Some of these gaps between platforms are tough to land on specifically. But you really want to land somewhere at the top. And then you're going to want to time your triangle jumps, so you're on level with this balloon at the end. Ah, we missed it! All right. The shield is at the bottom, but the top one has a team blast. And that team blast is very important for what's coming up here. We have one of these robots, and it's very tough to take out without team blast or a knuckles with a level up. So what do you do? So what do you do? You just kind of wait. It's really your only choice at the moment. You wait for it to do that attack. And then you knock it over with this. And that will knock its helmet off. While its helmet's off, you have to do as much damage as you can with that move. So as you've guessed this level, this whole thing goes much, much faster with Team Blast as we finally take it out. Now with the Sonic with one level up, we're actually, if you're going for an A rank and a good time, you're probably about a minute behind what you need to be at right now. So, let's just say you're not going for an A rank in this mission. First of all, we already died at the start. But this is a hard one to stay alive till the end. Also, note that this last pull will not put you directly on the rail. Alright, ah! You know what? I think I'm actually going to restart this level from the beginning. And what this does, it just puts us at the beginning of the level. So we can get like a level up and partially filled team blast meter before the fight with that armored hammer bot. And it's going to make it easier in the end. All right. We gotta get a level up for Knuckles. And I'll show you why a level up for Knuckles helps, too. That was good. Can we get a team blast, too? Timing on this going across is kind of difficult as well. Okay, we get a team blast, so I'll just ignore explaining why the level up with Knuckles helps. Because you can just run right up to it and use a team blast now. Alright, we got two levels up for Tails already. Which, Tails is always important to level up. You want to get one level for Knuckles here, and then the rest for Tails, and Sonic can just level up as it happens. The only thing, a level 3 Sonic will help out, but it it's really not worth wasting 
other level ups on getting a level 3 Sonic because, I mean, we could have a level 3 Sonic right now, potentially, but then we wouldn't have anything on the other two. So you want to go slow here, and if you jump at just the right point, you can get on this pole and go up and take a pretty big shortcut. You'll go on these poles all the way to the top, you'll avoid a lot of stuff at the bottom, and you can land on here. Once on here, you have to jump across, you can get a 1-up, and then you can triangle jump across a massive shortcut to the end to find a new robot, the E-3000. These, as you guessed, are tougher than the 2000s. So basically, you just... We want to get him stunned, and then we can hit him with Knuckles. Stunned. Two hits with Knuckles. Now here, we still have lasers, but you can actually fly over the top of these. Now we get a sec second level up for Knuckles. And then we can go with Sonic through a pretty fun part. It's, it's a fun rail part, which I thought you'd never hear me say, but a rail part that's actually fun. Because you have to avoid giant laser cannons. So basically, if you're on one of those rails, you're dead. So you want to get over. And you have another chance to spin on a pole. This one sucks, though. Because oftentimes you don't land on it. Oh no, oh no. Okay, there was another pole we were supposed to get, but I forgot about it. But it's, it's not too big of an issue. Usually I don't get both of those shortcuts on the same run, so that's a good start. This could end up being my best Final Fortress run in a while. Now this, you'll want to have Team Blast here. We don't. But now we do. You'll want to stand in the middle by the E3000 and use a Team Blast. So hopefully you can take out all of the cannons as well. How'd we do? Are there any cannons left? No, there are not. So now, <laughs> once all the cannons are gone, you have to flip three switches. And this can be really tough if there's cannons firing at you. And that's going to activate the fan. We can go up. And here we have to fight two hammer bots without There's Team Blast. Time to party. This is not hard with a leveled up Knuckles. I'll destroy everything that comes my way. Now flipping that switch go. is going to activate a tornado pole up here. Where we could go up a long way. This is the tallest pole in the game. And then we can land here. Now you want to get in flight formation. Actually, I forget exactly where this starts, but you'll definitely want to do it. It's up here a little higher. You can make a jump onto a higher section of the rail. There we, there we go. We can get a flight power core up there. And then make this jump down and make sure you land on a rail after all that. Now if you can get on the right rail, you can take a shortcut by flying up to this platform, where you have to fight several hammer bots once again. Now after fighting those hammer bots, you can actually do it without fighting the hammer bots if you're comfortable hitting a switch while under fire. Actually, never mind, you have to fight the hammer bots to get the switch to appear. Then you'll appear on the top platform, and this is where you use Team Blast, as you have an armored hammer bot. Basically, Whenever you have an armored hammer bot, you're going to use Team Blast, just to save time. You can get plenty of power cores from these guys. One for every hammer bot. 
So we haven't died yet after I restarted, and we have everybody fully leveled up, and this is the final part of the game. The final part of the level. That was the last checkpoint. We have more rail grinding, more loops. It's the yellow laser! This part's challenging is you gotta switch rails quickly. Blue laser fire! It's the red laser! Alright, we're doing well on the laser cannons so far. Only four lasers? A hero's welcome. One, two, three! Now you gotta switch rails here quickly. And then the last set. You gotta go fast. Because look at this laser. If you go fast enough, you can get underneath it before it all comes out. Then you can land on this switch. And it's going to blow up Eggman's base. Why would he put a self-destruct switch there anyway? I don't know. But there's the goal ring. And that's probably my fastest completion of this level. That's really good. We avoided killing a lot of stuff, but that was almost flawless. We get a pretty big time bonus on here for 55,000. Barely And it's a C rank. So... If that's a C rank, then I don't know, maybe we just went too fast. I don't know. We get 20 emblems, that unlocks more battle stages for playing multiplayer. But here we are. After blowing up Eggman's base. Oh, another suspenseful ending have we here. Next time on Sonic Heroes, we will be taking on the next level, which just happens to be the final level of the game. See you guys then.